Hello, welcome to One Moment Wiser. This is Christy Bridges, and we've been reading Kryptonite, a chapter in the book Option Ocean. It's a devotional that's going to come out this spring for our graduates. Let's continue reading that chapter. Proverbs 4.20 says, My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart, for they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. Guard your heart above all else for it determines the course of your life. Even my good memories of dad were splattered in the graffiti of his last years. It took a while for me to scrape off that graffiti, but I couldn't finish grandpa's book without including the second most important person in his life. Grandma gave me a picture of dad at two, leaning over the engine of a car like he was gonna fix it. I found a note from a junior high teacher complimenting a drama performance he'd done. My dad, a drama performance. We laughed about how many layers of white it took to cover up the giant dark side of the moon triangle he'd painted on his living room wall. And I thought of the times we'd sit in the dark together, listening to music. My music has its roots in dad. I was in a mindless pop in ninth grade and he taught me to respect thought-provoking lyrics and skillful musicians. Mistakes were only part of his story. He'd left each of his kids wiser and more thoughtful. For Grandpa's last birthday, I gave him the book, including lessons from Dad and a goofy picture of him in a fishing hat and a big chinny grin. <laughs> when I wrote Wisdom Better Than Wishing, I realized just how much Dad had influenced me. When I was 25, I'd wanted to write books and not just songs, but I felt unready, like my wisdom needed to grow a bit. Long, transparent talks with dad about relationships and psychology had given me perspective on why we do what we do. So today I pray that if there's someone in your life, you're wrestling with your perception of them, you'll see the good they've brought to you. God bless you.